look on a map and you'll find Elba, Nebraska in the middle of America's heartland, a place where heart has special meaning. You have those two stories, incredible stories, tragedy and miracle come together as one. Heartbreaking for the family of Sarah Root. It's such an emotional day, you know, there's mixtures of happiness, sadness, excitement. Heartwarming for Dan Griffin and his family, which includes 13 grandchildren. You say hi. Plus it is a, is a giver. She gave me this heart. Griffin spent a year waiting for a new heart. It arrived when a drunk driver hit and killed 21-year-old Sarah Root in January 2016. And at Griffin's 64th birthday party, he's the one giving the gift to Sarah's family. In a way, we're celebrating her life. Uh, and she's living on. One by one, Sarah's mother, father, and brother listen to Sarah's beating heart inside the farmer from Elba. I could, I could feel it inside me that was bringing back a lot of feelings and memories and, and stuff. And, and they, they just knew, you, you could, they could feel it in the air, it's just like I can, that uh, her presence is here. <laughs> Getting Sarah's heart wasn't easy. The call came after midnight in the middle of a blizzard. Dan Griffin's got his heart transplant we got to get to him. So it's okay. Snowplow driver Donnie Wilson led the way, clearing the path of more than 40 miles of county roads, some covered in snowdrifts, just to get to Grand Island and Interstate 80, which was closed. But the Nebraska State Patrol allowed the ambulance to follow a state plow for more than six hours to Omaha. They wanted us there at 7.30 in the morning, and we got there at 7.36. <laughs> More than two years later, Sarah's heart connects the two families. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> Instant tears because it, it's real again. Making this one big family. Go, let him go. No. In Elba, Michelle Bandu, KETV News Watch Seven.